You had mentioned um, earlier uh, mentors uh, that helped uh, you progress to where you are now. Who are your heroes today? Uh, and, and what qualities do they possess uh, that uh, make them uh, individuals uh, that you look up to? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, it's a personal question too, and at some level it's a difficult question to answer. But um, my, my heroes, Muhammad Ali, the boxer, was a hero of mine, mm -hmm. still is a hero of mine. Um, somebody who was brilliant at what he, did, what he did, but who had very clear views and who articulated those regardless of the consequences to himself. Um, like millions of people around the world, I'm in awe of what Nelson Mandela achieved, the, the magnanimity of, of what he suffered personally, but then his ability to rise above that and have vision and, and the grace with which he was able to lead his nation. Um, my father, at one level, uh, who who you know uh, was from a very poor background and who migrated, essentially as an economic migrant to Britain, but made a new life for himself and his family. Um, but never forgot where he came from and in, imbued uh, his, his children with a strong sense of responsibility. Um, I'm deeply attracted to 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 to. Uh, uh, President Obama's uh, 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 language and, and portrayal of the challenges that this world faces. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he could be a heroic figure for, for, for me and for many others around the world. Um, I'm hoping that he's going to come through and deliver a lot of what he's, he's, he's talking about and it's that, I think it's that sense of not just being able to articulate but seeing it through. Mm -hmm. um, Closer to home, in some ways, Claire Short, who was the, the first um, Secretary of State for International Development in 1997 when DFID was created, is, 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 is a hero too. She had a very clear vision, enormous motivation, enormous commitment, and uh, real drive. Uh, she was a political heavyweight, and she achieved very real things, uh, both in, in the UK but also internationally. So. I guess my heroes are, 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 are people who who can make sense of the world, who can be bold and radical, but then who have, but then who are brave enough to see it through. Mm -hmm. This is a, a very difficult uh, field uh, mm -hmm. that uh, you are working in, and there's uh, burnout. Um, yeah. What do you want to achieve? Um, where do you see yourself uh, five, ten years from now? And what impact does uh, Mosin Malik want to make uh, uh, while you are still uh, uh, making a difference? Uh, that's again another <laughs> difficult question to ask. I've no idea where I'll be in five years or ten years time to be honest. Um, what do I want to achieve? I want to, I want to make a, an impact in the real world. Uh, what gets me out of bed every day isn't being a, a, a civil servant in a government department, winning an argument in Whitehall, um, or you know, treading the corridors of, of, of authority in, um, in New York or Geneva. But rather, uh, it's, it's how we translate what we do uh, into uh, the real world. Mm -hmm. um, all those things are important. You know, I, I, I talked about politics. Um, a lot of the time this boils down to conversations in, 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 around a table in London or New York or Washington or Rome or Delhi or wherever. Um, so, you know, the, 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 the bureaucracy, the process, the policy process, the process by which decisions are made is important, hugely important. And sometimes, you know, the, the, what you can achieve is incremental. It's step by step, and on any one day, what you achieve step by step may may not look great. And you know, you might not go home saying, "Great, we won today." It, it isn't like that. The real world isn't like that. Mm -hmm. But if, but if you have a clear sense of what you're trying to achieve, and are able to make sense of how to break down bureaucracies and policy processes and funding decisions in order to align them towards that objective, then, 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 then you can make the system work. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what do I want to achieve? I want to, I want to, I want to achieve 
uh, a better a better future for, 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 for poor people around the world. I want people who live in Darfur and in, in Somalia and in Nepal and in Pakistan and in Afghanistan to have uh, good life chances. I want to, we talked uh, you know, at the start of this conversation about the personal terms in which I see it. And at one level it may be naive and at one level it may be idealistic. But deep down, deep here, I want kids around the world to have the prospects that my children have. It may not be possible in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. Maybe not even be possible in, in many generations' time. But, but fundamentally, that's what I believe to be right. And if in my working life I can, I can, uh, I can go even half a step towards, towards that, then for me that's a working life well spent. There are many out there that, that feel um, similarly, uh, that are starting out and are looking at uh, their own career. Um, what advice would you give uh, the young professionals uh, who look at you, who look at others, who yeah. have made a difference uh, to uh, move forward? My uh, advice at one level is very, very simple. Uh, enjoy what you do and do it well. That's it. Find, find things that you like doing. Uh, if you like doing them, chances are you'll do them better. Mm -hmm. If you do them well, people will notice, you will uh, get satisfaction from it, and you'll do it better still. Um, and you'll make a contribution. Great. Well, I, I thank you for coming on the Leadership Corner. Um, again, I have to point out there that uh, uh, my first interaction with you years ago uh, still resonates, because at that <laughs> point in time, uh, my wife was pregnant with our first right. child. Um, and it did uh, make me rethink uh, what I was doing and why I was doing it, uh, and I think that made a lot of sense. Uh, so I thank you uh, for what you've done in this community uh, and for inspiring the next generation of leaders. Well, thank you, for, thank you for interviewing me, and thank you for having been such a good colleague over such a long period. Okay. And uh, we continue to try. Great. Thank you.